In this video, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to the database that is contained within your Oracle Apex or Oracle Application Express account. I assume you've already created the account based on my instructions earlier. So now I'll just show you how to use the database that is within Oracle Apex. Now Oracle Apex, you will very soon see, is a pretty complicated product. It has a lot of features. In this video and for this week, we are only going to learn how to use the database. Gradually, we will start increasing the complexity and looking at more and more features of Oracle Apex. So just take it step by step. Okay, specifically this week uh, or in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the database, which is how to create tables and upload information or upload data to your Oracle Apex database. And we'll also learn how to upload the script and then execute the script to actually create the tables and stuff data into the tables. And then finally, I'll show you how to execute SQL queries. Of course, as of now, uh, since you have not learned SQL, this may not mean a whole lot, but I'm just going to show you the mechanics of how to do this uh, so that when you see the lectures and we start talking about SQL very soon, you'll be able to get back into your Oracle Apex and actually execute the, all the SQL that you're learning about in the lectures. Okay, so that'll help you to uh, have a practical uh, area where you can experiment with and enhance your learning. That's all we're going to do. Now, as you're watching the video, uh, don't bother to try and go into your computer and try to replicate the commands that are going on in the video. Just watch the video, observe what is going on. I just want this video to be an overview for you because there is a detailed lab document that I have posted in the same area where you access this video. And from that lab document, you will get step-by-step -step instructions to replicate all that I'm showing in this video. Okay, so just look at this video as an overview. Don't overstress. Just take a look at what's going on and try to grasp as much as you can from the video because you've got detailed steps and you can always go back to those detailed steps as you go forward. Okay. First things first, let's sign into Oracle Apex. So the URL is, you can just type apex.oracle.com and then it'll bring you to this place. You don't have to actually type this URL. You just have to type apex.oracle.com and then click on sign in. And if you did everything right, your screen should already be populated with the username, with your workspace name. The first thing here is called as the workspace name and your username, which is your email ID. These two should already be populated if you did things right. And also, if you did things right, your workspace name should be your PirateNet username, the eight character PirateNet username. And your e email should be your Seton Hall email, which is your first name dot last name at student.shu.edu. For me, of course, it's not student.shu.edu, but for you, that should be the case. Okay, and your password, if you did, if you followed my instructions right, should be your PirateNet account, uh, PirateNet uh, username. Okay, so type that in and press sign in, and it should come to this screen. Okay, this is the main Apex screen, and Apex has several components. The first is called Application Builder which we'll come to later in the course. The second is SQL workshop, which we will be talking about now, right now. The third and fourth team development package apps we won't look at at all. Okay, so we're gonna do everything in this course only in these two areas. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to look at uh, SQL workshop, okay? Now, SQL workshop, uh, you can access the SQL workshop either by clicking on the icon here the SQL workshop icon, or alternately, you can just drop down this uh, menu and then uh, SQL workshop is already there, or you can just click on SQL workshop. Okay, it'll go into SQL workshop. Okay, or alternately, I go back to the main screen by clicking Oracle Apex, and then I can click on SQL workshop, and then I can get into SQL workshop. Okay, and no matter what you do, uh, if you get into workshop, SQL workshop, you'll see these options, object browser, SQL commands, SQL scripts, utilities. Now, in reality, 
uh, you really don't have to get into the SQL workshop screen per se because you can always go drop down this and then click any of the components that you want okay so rather than getting into a SQL workshop and then clicking on one of the components it would be easiest for you to just drop down this menu and select whatever component you want okay so that's really how uh, you get into a SQL workshop okay now before we do anything else let's look at the object browser once again we can click on this and get object browser or alternatively just click on object browser here I'm going to do this <coughs> An object browser shows you all the objects which are currently in your database in the database of your apex okay now don't get too hassle if you don't understand uh, the terms like database and so on because all of that is going to be explained very shortly in the lecture okay so within the database uh, database consists of a bunch of tables and that's what is showing here of course the database also has several other objects which we probably will not look at at all so we've got the tables and you can see there are several tables for example uh, in your system also you will not see all the tables that I am showing here because I have loaded some data for example you can click on the table DEPT department and once you click on the table name it shows you the structure of the tables in other words what are all the columns in the table once again that's going to be explained in the lecture okay you can look at the data in the table to see all the actual data that is in the table okay so in this table there are four rows that's what it's showing you one to four and the first row has a department number 10 the name of the department is accounting and the location of the department is New York okay so really this is what you'll be using the object browser for okay now how did this data get in here you know this tables uh, and data of course one thing you can do is to uh, create the table right within apex and manually insert data you can do that right for example you can click insert row and you can actually type in the data but typically the databases we're going to be working with will be somewhat bigger and it'll be uh, cumbersome to sit down and enter the data one by one instead what we'll be doing is to load the data using what are called as SQL scripts okay SQL scripts are nothing but files that contain commands with instructions for the database so that for example I can have a script that contains commands to create some tables and then also insert some data into those tables okay so that's the way we'll be creating our data in apex most of the time I'll give you the SQL files and you'll just load the files and uh, that's it everything will be done and I'll show you right now how to do that okay so SQL workshop I'm going to click this and go into SQL scripts okay as of now I don't have any scripts okay now uh, in order to load this SQL, first of all, you have to upload the script file and then you have to execute the file. Okay, now what I want you to do before you start, uh, again, the instructions in the lab walk you through this process. It, now, what we are going to do is we are going to use this file. This is uh, the instra data for the, the, the Blackboard site for this particular week. And here I have uh, this. Uh, lab introduction to apex this is where you actually got the uh, the video okay so this is the lab instruction and along with this i haven't posted it yet i'll be posting another file an sql file and that's the file that you're going to upload okay you will download the file save it and again you can see the instructions okay so i'm going to say upload and it says upload script okay choose the file this is the file I'm going to choose from the local computer right I'm going to where I've stored the file the file is called spj oracle.sql again there are instructions in the lab for you uh, to, to instruct you how to get this file so don't worry about it for now I say open okay then I just give a name to the script I'm just going to call this script spj spj incidentally stands for supplier parts projects you'll see this soon in the in the lecture okay so this is just a name you give to the script so that you can identify it okay and then I can say upload and the script is now uploaded okay it was able to upload the script and now of course the data is still not there at least the script has not yet been executed you have to execute the script before the commands in the script get executed and they take effect right now all that you have done is just uploaded a script you haven't actually run the script to run the script 
click on this icon here the run icon and initially it will take a look and it will come back with this and say we want to run the script now or run it in background if your script is very large you can run it in background because it may take a lot of time our script is small so I'm just going to say run now okay so that's it the job is done uh, I'm not actually going to go ahead and view the results because I know that this script is correct I've done it before uh, and I'm not going to get into this we'll get into this part of it later so as of now the job is done uh, the script has now been loaded so now if I go back into SQL workshop go into object browser uh, I'll see the tables and in fact the tables that got actually loaded were the tables uh, suppliers parts shipments and projects these are the four tables that got loaded so for example let's take a look at our uh, suppliers table okay. so the suppliers table has supplier name supplier status supplier city supplier number these are the four columns we can look at the data and we see that there are five suppliers s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 these are the five suppliers in our database okay so don't worry about these details we'll work through these later okay uh, so now you've got you have uploaded the script you have executed the script you've got the tables you've got the data so the next thing we'll be doing throughout our uh, lecture for the next couple of weeks is to execute SQL commands against our databases okay so to do that click on this option SQL commands okay and this is where you can type your SQL of course you haven't learned any SQL yet but you will be learning it shortly and when you do that in the lecture you will find that I'm just taking SQL after SQL and executing them you know explaining the query to you I'm saying okay this is the data we want to get out of the database and this is the SQL script that will do that for you I'm teaching you the language and as I'm doing that I'm showing you several SQLs and I strongly recommend that you go into the system and execute each one of those SQL type it in make sure you understand every component run it see the results and so on that will really help you to grasp the concepts very very easily so here I'm just going to type a simple SQL select star from parts okay and then I click on run and there you go you've got the results okay so that's that simple uh, that's all there is to to executing SQL okay this is all you need to know for for now uh, for the whole of SQL portion really uh, several weeks two or three weeks now and you're all set okay so now that you've had this brief overview uh, I would recommend that you go into the lab document and work through the lab document step by step it'll essentially walk you through all of what I just showed you okay so enjoy SQL